welcome family and friends, and friends that I've yet to meet. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Gareth, and I am a very proud father of the beautiful bride, Natalie. Natalie, your mum and I are aware of how just blessed we are to have you in our lives. We're very proud of the lovely young lady you have become. It's been an absolute joy to watch you blossom into a very beautiful, clever, compassionate young lady. And it's my privilege, it's been my privilege to also call you down the aisle today. Natalie, you've been like a little ray of sunshine since the day you were born. Now, as you begin married life, Adam will be whom you will turn to for love and protection. And I know that she knows her mum and dad will always be there for her too. You often wonder as a parent just how well your children will turn out. You wonder what sort of life decisions they will make, especially those you have no control over. What friends you will choose, who will they pick as a partner to share their life with? Will that person love and care for them? as well as you would. Well, for what it's worth, Natalie, your mum and I think you've made an excellent choice in Adam. I'm very happy to welcome Adam into our family. He's been like a son to us and an absolute credit to Yuri and Tori. Natalie, you look wonderful today. You've been a beautiful woman and a wonderful daughter. You've married a terrific man and I, you will make a perfect wife. Natalie and Adam, the world is your playground, enjoy married life. Here's to the past for all that you've learned, here's to the present for all that you share, here's to the future for all you look forward to together. Please raise your glasses to Natalie and Adam, the bride and groom. You do mean the world to me, my pals, everything that I said today is me. I don't lie. It's just everything that you heard today, just remember it. And I want you to remember this as well. This hopefully won't get me, so just bear with me. On the night that I met you, there was a deck party on a ship. My bladder is full to the toilet I must knit. Southern comfort in hand, my legs almost crossed. Not wanting to put my drink down, as I knew that it would get lost. Clutching my glass whilst heading to the loo. I, I heard a mellow Scottish accent and you came into view. Knowing the Scots are kind and that they'd love to help the English out. Uh, <sighs> bear with me, bear, come on. <sighs> she admired my drink, I thought without any doubt. So after a brief moment in the gents, I skipped back over, feeling a lot less tense. I knew something was wrong, and it hit after a while. My southern comfort gone, replaced with a smile. Eros and Cupid said, love starts with a sign. That was it. My drink became yours and you became mine. From that day, I knew you'd be my, you'd be my wife, to have to hold for the rest of my life. Natalie, I made a promise to you today, to love and support you through thick and thin, but asking you to mind my drink again. It'd really be a sin. See, you've been by my side throughout all our years. You've shared my happiness and you've shared my tears. From your first job in Manchester to where we are now, we've grown up together, us two, and we'll grow old together, I know. Please remember this speech as it tells the story of my time loving a strong, charismatic young woman who's as good at stealing drinks as I am making this rhyme. So as we enjoy our day with friends and family and dance with those of similar ilk, I'd like everyone to raise a glass to my wife, the new Mrs. Silk, Natalie. When Adam was a little boy, we had this special father and son bond. When he was at nursery, he would sit in the window with a little photograph of me. Not his mum, not anybody else, this little photograph, and he sat crying at the window all day. Never learned anything, crying all day, waiting for his dad. Now, that bond still exists today. We rarely argue, rarely disagree. The only exception to that is if me and Adam was to go out for three pints, always insist on buying the second. 
<laughs> His mum, Julia, and myself knew he would do well in life. He would get a good job, find himself a great wife, and be a fantastic husband, because he has all the right qualities. He's compassionate, caring, hard-working, good-looking, and, um, I can't read your writing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> this brings me to the part where I say that another bond has been forged today between the two families. So, Natalie, welcome to our family. I hope that both of you... I'm sorry. I hope that both of you continue to bring out the best in each other for many years to come. On that note, can we all raise our glasses and toast the bride and groom, Adam and Natalie. <laughs>